afternoon to Inspector Sir and our dear friends. So much has been said about safe evaluation and assessment. But here I, I would like to deal with the topics of validity and reliability of the test. It is generally applied to assessment and evaluation also. But uh, here I have delimited it to test only. So first of all, tests are inevitable parts of life in general. And in academic purpose, how far the tests are made to be valid and reliable to judge the learning process of the learner. That is important. And this part is not how to give tests, but how tests are con constructed and what the things that test makers are put into take into consideration by constructing tests for the students. <coughs> how valid is the test is the first question. Now how to judge the validity of anything? We are all familiar with the general meaning of validity. But here the meaning is if the test measure what it is intended to measure, then tests are valid. If we take tests, for example, our presentations are intended to measure our non-verbal skills, verbal skills and content content knowing. If it after the presentation, if a May test taker come to know that if the things have the skills, the students have the skills, then that test is valid. But uh, in recent years, there is a development of construct validity. Now, construct validity takes into consideration two aspects, content validity and criteria validity. Content validity is related with the content of the test. That uh, it represents the skills or areas which is meant to be tested. For example, if we want to take a uh, grammar test in standard A, so whether they know direct indirect speech, reported speech or not, then content should be related with such indirect speech. If we give them a paragraph, then they won't be able to uh, make it in the reported speech. So we should give them conversation. And that's why the next point in content validity comes is purpose and specification. We need to construct a uh, test in such a way that they become purposeful. That we can't construct tests in the same way for intermediate learners and advanced learners. They should differ in their purpose. And uh, the second point is specification. The test should be specific. That means it uh, analyzes the specific area of learning. Though it contains a whole a part of, to measure the whole part of learning, but in the, at the same time it needs to be specific. Rather, the important areas are the stuff in taking tests. If we take grammar tests and ability tests, speaking and skills, all skills together, then one component we can't measure at a time. So even though it takes the whole part, the specific purpose should be achieved and specification should be done. Rather, the purpose of uh, the backwash of the risk is harmful of the test. Uh, the second one is criterion validity. Criterion validity refers to the results and uh, how the results are achieved. If test is prepared, planned out, then how the results are achieved after that. And if both of them meet or uh, go on with each other, then the tests are valid. So, confidence test and predictive test. What is the conference test? So, yeah, I, I give the example of this rubric in our presentation. That uh, I just to judge non-verbal skills, content, uh, knowledge of content and verbal skills. It might take 30 minutes for a student, per student. But practically it is not possible. So we have delimited it to 5 minutes. Now in this 5 minutes we can measure this test or not. That is important. So, to judge that, five or six students can be taken into consideration and they can they can be given the time of 30 minutes. If those elements are there in 30 minutes test and similarly it is that it can be found in five minutes test, then this test, the test is valid and confident. And predictive is the future performance on that basis. If a Students can perform all this, with all these components in five minutes. Then, in future, it can be valid that he or she can perform in a, with English proficiency and ability in the same way. That is a part of predictive validity. And now and again, predictive content validity is a misjudged as what a what to as an easy test. 
and to measure what is easy, not is not what is important. So they can be constructed in such a way that they can take all the content into consideration and then measure and then be valuable and contain validity. Second one is reliability. Reliability is generally repeatedly if you take test, then the result is same or not. But in that some errors occur. Because if we give presentations right now, we are all prepared well or we are informed well. But after two days, if same presentations are done, then even we can't perform them. But and what the other areas rather than ability, it's not like that, that we don't have ability after two days. But some other components or areas that affect that ability are measured and, and then tests are constructed in such a way that in any situation the results should remain same, then the tests are reliable. So this, these are the errors that occur in the measuring of a reliability of tests that days before or other factors like a, a your a fatigue, then you are not prepared well or test versions differ. That rather than this perform, we are given topics of each other. Then even we can't do. Rather the purpose of presentation is we know the, all the codes of ERP or criticism. But we know our topic only. So this is the test version differ or test taker differ. If rather than our, our teacher or any other, uh, in place of our teacher, any other person is there, then we can't perform well. So all these factors are not related with ability and still they affect taste. So they should be taken into consideration and a test maker should minimize this problem and then construct it. So reliability is related with test, retest reliability. Take the test time and again and the more the performance or the, the better the performance is, the more the test is reliable. And that, way, and that measures the consistency of the state. Briefly we can say that this validity and reliability are related with if the test results into what we intended it to measure, then it is valid. And if we use it at with different people and different place, the result remains same, it is reliable. 